So, gameplay wise, it's pretty much a reskin Treasure Wars. I mean, so far there are no challenges or seasons. So that's about to change. But if we go into the game, you can see a lot of the maps are the same. There's a different lobby. It's quite cool. Like, it's detailed. Like, there's detail and everything. And I don't think it was a rushed update, especially since they took ages to make it. I don't know, it just feels Treasure Wars-esque. It doesn't feel like a proper update or like a new game, if you know what I mean. It just feels like a minor change where they didn't really do much. Almost as if they just did some bug fixes, changed some things around, you know. Maybe changed one or two features. Oh, have they made the Stone Sword 5 now? Oh, they have! Right, let's go off to blues. Like, it's the same concept. Oh dear. Also, I don't know why it takes longer to respawn. I, I don't see the point of that. What? Oi, get out of here. Quick. Nope, too late. Let's just dip. Oh, that was close. Uh, 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 right. Like, of course, it's heavily based off of Treasure Wars. And more than anything, it's just really a big update to it. But it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like the hive anymore. It feels like Cubecraft. Or high pixel, which the hive definitely isn't. It just seems a bit off. It's hard to describe. I'm just not a lover of it, honestly. Okay, we have to talk about these shop prices. They are absolutely ridiculous. Okay, and so is my bridging. But these shop prices are. I mean, look at this. You need five iron to get only 16 blocks. You need to use a ton of gold to get four arrows. Diamond armor is ridiculously expensive. Iron armor is ridiculously cheap. Chain armor is... Also, the tools, the knockback dory, I don't know why they sacrificed the knockback Nemo, but the knockback dory costs six emeralds and has one use. That's especially bad in a world full of recycling, but you do you. I bought one the other day and I was like, yeah, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to eliminate this team. They're going to lose so hard. It's going to be amazing. I used it once, and then I died. Like, I've got six diamonds right here. What could I theoretically buy? I could buy an iron sword. Okay, well, I could buy these tools. All right, that, that makes sense. But it's weird how cheap the upgrade is. It's like, it really fluctuates in difficulty. How... On one hand, some stuff is really expensive, and on some stuff, it's really, really cheap. It just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. It just doesn't sit right with me, this update. I don't know if any of you can relate, but to me, it oops, but to me, it just feels very odd. As if there's a bunch of stuff that's just missing, you know? And I know the update is supposed to be, like, 
you don't rush anymore like you genuinely play the game and there are of course team upgrades which i think was a good addition but they aren't very good like you can't get sharpness or protection i know that defeats the purpose of preventing people from rushing but i think this is going to this is giving bed wars a bad image and i feel like the hive is definitely gonna regret this update or they won't i might be wrong and i know it's still early days but it just doesn't sit right with me right let's upgrade this generator so i'm gonna be able to start getting diamonds from this now like i appreciate them trying to get rid of the rushing element if you like and, it, and now it's more of a game you know so for new players this is this is great but for the people who are quite experienced and you know have a long history of playing the hive it just feels wrong like they could have kept treasure walls as a separate game mode they could have made this like a mode of treasure walls they could have kept treasure walls as a pro mode and made this casual mode but they didn't and i still don't know why also i find the shop lacks a lot of stuff like you can't get shears you can't get stone tools there are no more auto bridges there's no end stone Wait, there's deep slate? Let's get some of this then. There's no knockback boom boxes. Also, the turrets are so bad. I just think that overall, they could have they could have still made this update. Don't get me wrong. In terms of update level, it's a good update. It's just in terms of how we all know the hive it doesn't really add up i mean it's not like the hive for them to just kind of get rid of the game however last year they did just get rid of the arcade They keep catering to their casual players and whilst that might be a good thing for them seeing as there are a lot of casual players we like experienced players we know all about the hive and we know its history and stuff like i started playing in 2019 when this server was like fresh out the womb okay there is someone coming oh beautiful that totally was uh my first try let's just buy some upgrades also i'm glad they got rid of snowballs but it's just a lot of the game mechanics are just a bit weird this feels more like cubecraft or hypixel to me and i feel like the hive is becoming more of just a general server than the hive you know it's not really the hive anymore it's a hive okay i should not have gone to mid i should not have gone to mid i should not have gone to mid Thankfully, they do not know how to jump bridge. Bro, how long is this going to take? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll, I'll just leave you be.
I think sudden death is soon, isn't it? Oh my god. Bro, this guy's aim is amazing. Honestly, other than that, I don't have too many complaints. Like, it's a well-made update. And it's it's well-made. I'll give them that. It is very polished. And it doesn't feel rushed at all. I just think they could have done it better in other ways. Can I? <laughs> Hello. Yes, I know it's a 2v1, but well, tough luck. Ah. No, 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 no. Ain't no bow spammer. Come on. There we are. Alright. We might be able to win this game. I know I don't usually do videos like this, but I thought it was necessary for me to say my thoughts about Bed Wars, as it's such a hot topic at the moment. And I feel like some people would want to know what I think about it. So, I mean, there you go. Other than that, I don't have too many complaints. Okay, I already said that. But, I know I don't normally do videos like this, so don't worry. More will be coming soon, and I have some bangers coming. Also, I am glad they got rid of the every time uh, you buy something from the shop. Because when you're doing a sumo and it just goes every time, you cannot imagine how annoying that was. Okay, mate. Oh, insane. Oh my goodness, this combo. Beautiful. I don't know what the max level is at the moment. I'm not sure we know. Okay, they have turrets. Can you, like, get rid of them? Like, can you... You know what? I'd rather just dip. <laughs> But, like, getting armor is so easy. Like, you can become stacked in a matter of minutes. I'm not sure if that was their aim, so that everybody has loads of stuff. But equally, it takes ages to get your first wool. Like, with people's crumbling attention spans on nowadays, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. But, oh well. It's not my problem, anyway. What other? Regeneration? Go on, then. Whoa, I've got loads. Alright, let's get... Let's get some good stuff, then. Let's get some fireballs. What else should I get? I'll get a bunch of knockback dories. There we are. Dragon breath ball. Um, what else? Get some more arrows. Uh, I mean, I'll get a diamond pickaxe, I guess. That's pretty much all I need, I guess. I've got so many diamonds. After a while, you just have so many, you can't really do much with them. Because it's only for, like, weapons and armour diamonds. I feel like they could have some more uses for that. Generally, the, the shop is very limited. But going forward, that might be a good thing. Personally, I think block breakers were very OP. And while they did come in useful when you wanted them, when, you, when someone was coming to your base, it was very annoying. Um, 
when all they would need to do is just grab a block breaker and boop, your treasure has vanished. Okay, come on, mate. You want to knock back Dory? Do you want to knock back Dory? Oh my god! That absolutely launches them. Okay. Oh, quick. Oh, wait, they're there. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. And... Hello. I'm just going to try and kill them just when the treasures go. Oi. All right, those are very annoying. They're shockingly effective. Go on. I just need to get them into the void. Go on. <laughs> Please die. How many backup plans does this guy have? As many as I have arrows. Okay, come on. Go on. There we go. GG. Thank you for watching and thank you so much for 500 subscribers and all of the support lately. I appreciate each and every single one of you. With that being said, goodbye. Thank you for watching.